and we like Teladoc, which is higher risk, higher reward, but Teladoc is disrupting the healthcare industry. And would you believe 40% of the Fortune 500 companies like Exxon, like Boeing, like Home Depot are using Teladoc to keep their healthcare costs down? The stock's around 68 today, 67-ish. We think it could be a $100 stock as revenues are growing 75%. Uh, people are signing up at a 63% clip, and it's really a disruptor. It's keeping health care costs down for companies, employees love it. Even at Hodges Capital, we use Teladoc. It's simplistic. You call the doctor, he diagnoses you, calls in a prescription. It's very convenient and low cost. And that's what employers love, and that's what the employee who's using it love. So Teladoc's one really, we really like at the Hodges Small Cap Fund. All right, John, let's weigh in here. What do you think? What's one of your picks? Uh, <clears throat> we're good with the word disruptor. That's our theme for you today, Mike. So if that's a disruptor in the healthcare business, not familiar with it, that's going to follow our theme that we're also going to bring you today is kind of disruptor stocks, small cap leverage. And name some. And first one up, first one up, Spotify. So Spotify is trying to change the way we get music, follow the big guys, but change the way we get music. We, we saw the Pandora got bought the other week by Sirius. So Spotify, we think, has some value, a couple different fronts, organic growth, and potentially somebody's going to buy them to fit into their media exposure as well. So Spotify is our first one. Hasn't been a good few months for Spotify. Evan, any of these picks stand out to you? No. No, you know, I, I, no, find, the, the, I, find, the, I, I find the small cap space, it is, it is kind of like a lottery, meaning, you know, these ideas may be very good, um, but what tends to happen as a rule is when the market turns, the small caps are the ones that tend to take the well, beating the most. Spotify, for the record, is about $26 billion companies. Yeah, it's not really a not small cap. Right. No, 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 not that small. But a big <laughs> yeah, end yeah. market. For yeah, sure. but what I'm saying in general is as they talk about these names, they may be good, they may not be good, but the problem that you have is, as you saw in the performance of the, of the I mean, Russell to the... a great move. What, yeah. what tends to happen is these are the ones that usually get crushed, and if there's a market downturn, they get crushed more.